Welcome back to Game On as we discuss the off-season and what's been happening currently here in South Africa as far as players and coaches moving this way and that. And as promised, we do have a special guest here, Mazu Lamalefe, joining us, of course, as, uh, well, a brother to the show here, part of the family here at Game On, and of course, the legend in Jerry Skosana. Gentlemen, good day it is to you. Let's firstly talk Mazola, uh, Kruelko. We've got mm. to talk about there. Not Firstly, yeah, yeah. big shock in uh, Ulani leaving, and then Steve is now back. Give us an update on what's going on there. Yeah, Cesar, thanks for having me, by sure. the way. But, uh, you know, the Rulani, even till this day, we're talking about, what, almost mm. two weeks later, yeah. uh, the football fraternity is still taken aback that a, a coach that won the inaugural African Football League and won the DSTV Premiership, losing one of 30 league matches, mm. uh, got the boot. You know, um, but obviously there have been allegations of a rift between the coach as well as the, the sporting director, Fleming Berg, who seems to want to take a different direction. I mean, and you can see even with the signings that they are making now, Mamelodi Sundowns under Rulani aren't such big fans of wing play, mm. uh, but the club is signing wing wingers, uh, Kobamelo yeah. Kodisang, Tashrik uh, Matthews as well came in in January and we put could potentially see more signings in that mold as well. Whether the coach would have would have been the one chasing or approving those signings is another factor. So I think that was the big issue there. He's moving on possibly by the end of the week, even next week, he could be a widowed Casablanca coach in North Africa. Now, Jerry, last week when we spoke about this, you were sure or two weeks ago and didn't understand this whole situation. Now that we've heard it from Azola. Are you happier now with the understanding of what's happening at Sundown, <laughs> touching ways with Rulani? Thanks. Is uh, you know when when you get people of journalism, sure. people who knows everything. Sure. That was my concern to say if Sundowns and the coach use the amicable way, mm -hmm. you know. It was like amicably. There was nothing amicable about Thank that you. party, I can tell you <laughs> for sure. That's, that's exactly my, 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 <laughs> yeah. my point yeah. in, in, in the show, yeah. Mazola, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm glad you're here <laughs> to elaborate on it. Because it was for me to <laughs> set the record straight. Something yeah. inside yeah. there. But now, you, that. You, you, you look at the point that Mazola is putting now. Roland is gone now because he wanted to do, like to run Sundance his own way in terms of mm. playing personnel. But now a new coach is coming back in Steve Compella. Yeah. Mangoba Mnit has been there. Old mm -hmm. new coach. Old new coach. You, 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 you get a point, but <laughs> what all, the all these players that are getting signed? Who's signing yeah. those players? Mm. Who's bringing those new players into the stable when the coach who was running the team just left and the new old new coach coming back? So there is something inside there that made Rulani to live. Absolutely. So let's talk about those players then. Uh, lots of rumors about players coming or the Sundowns have just signed. Give it, tell us what's happening at Sundowns. I know Cody Sang has just signed, special player, a junior international at the 17, at the 20, at the 23. He's been overseas for a while, but there's more at Sundowns, yeah? Yeah, you know, Kobamelo Cody Sang could mm -hmm. have come back home uh, maybe a year or two ago. Kaiser Chiefs were in hot pursuit yeah. of the player, but at the time he was, he was still contracted to Braga and the fee. The numbers just didn't add up. Yeah. Kaiser Chiefs abandoned uh, that project altogether. But Mamelo Di Sundowns, I mean, Mamelodi Sundowns in January spent 80 million rands on two players alone. So they have the, the deep pockets to bring back Kodisan. Is this a marquee signing, Kodisan? Oh. You look I, at it as a marquee signing. I would believe so. I mean, okay. uh, you know, given his age at the moment, a former under-23 international, yeah. was at the Olympics in 2021 with, sure. with coach David Notwane as well, has been called up by coach Hugo Bruce here and there. And I think the challenge was that Coach Hugo Bruce wasn't watching enough games in Portugal. Mm. Now that he's in the DSTV Premiership, he'll probably get a closer look. I would, I would, I would label him a marquee signing. Another one on the way, Keegan Johannes, a uh, right back, utility defender, so to speak, right back, centre back, can play as a six as well. Mm. Played for Super Sports United, has been there for three years. Um, Mamelodi Sundowns are on the verge. Talk of, about Jaden Adams. Yeah, yeah. Well. Talk of Jaden Adams, that's, that's another bone of contention between the sporting director and coach Rulani Mokwena. Mm. Because the sporting director feels or felt that Jaden Adams can be a direct replacement for Mshish. Mm. Uh, but the coach didn't see it that way. So let's see, now that the coach is gone, could uh, Staley's be willing or open to selling Jaden Adams to Mamelodi Sundowns? That's another big story there. Now, I have to ask you, January, February, you and I are talking. 
We love him what's happening in the Eastern Cape with Tipe United, the way they're playing out in East London. Yes, the end of the season wasn't so great, but they were great in, for the most part, for most of this year. 16 players gone. Does that shock you? Oof. That's the report. Oof. I, 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 I don't understand. Yeah, that's we, crazy. We know that they change that's coaches that's most of the time, but players like this. But honestly, for me to, to talk about that, it's just so amazing because if 16 players are gone in the team, where do you make the whole team to come and start the preseason and everything? Where do you get all these players that are going to do better? Mm -hmm. well, they, have, they have been confirming a, a lot of new signings Andy recently. Andy Lejali is one Andy, of them as well. The so, dream, Gustafa. I did yep. see him. I did yep. see him. Uh, I think he, he admitted to me as well that he needs to hit the gym pretty soon so that <laughs> by the time preseason starts, he's in tip top shape. Because Andy Le hasn't kicked the ball in more than six months True. since but leaving Swallows. What I want to know from Mazola, because he's the mm. one that has got the insight of the mm. players. Moselle, you know, the lonely from Orlando Pirates. Mm. He's is gone, he still there or is he gone? He's gone back. Maybe there are conversations to try and get him permanently or another loan. Uh, another left back, uh, Malebu Homodi, say he was out at the Kosafa for Bafana Bafana mm -hmm. as well. A cheaper player that belongs yes. to Mamelodi Sundowns, but he's gone back to Mamelodi Sundowns and there are talks uh, between the two clubs to get him back on a permanent deal as well. Quickly now. Dylan Kerr's back. Quickly, James. Your thoughts on that? From TTM to Marimo Gallants, mm. they got relocated when he was sitting on the stands. Mm. He's back again. Mm -hmm. That's all that I can say. <laughs> That's all that. Your thoughts? He, he's known as a relegation specialist, but I do this wonder, Mabena. I, I do wonder if now they've got loftier ambitions for Dylan to push for the topic because they've spent a lot of money to buy that status as well. Mm, that's true. So, as you can see, a lot happening in the way of uh, player and coach movements. And by next week, we'll probably have plenty to talk about as well, all the way through to August when the uh, season starts. Stay with Game On. On the other side of this, of course, we carry on with part two of the conversation we had with Peter last week.